Yo, gamers, what's happening, man? Like, for real, you have the massive hacks, you have the GTA leaks, everything's happening in the last several months, like doom and gloom kind of thing. There's a prophecy, man. Look at, just think about the prophecy. Yeah, I mean, it's, this is not some conspiracy stuff, but it's real. You need to pay attention. Insomnia games. Then, uh, remember, the Nintendo canceled? Nintendo canceled their event in Tokyo on January 20th or 21st next year and also postponed several because they threatened they got threats from something like what yeah like Nintendo threat let me actually pull that up nah some other time <laughs> Nintendo okay you have the GTA leaks then you have this insomnia games hit by ransomware attack one of the biggest one actually a lot of people might not know this Okay, by the way, I was a huge, I was a huge fan of Marvel's. Uh, I played Wolverine on Xbox, Xbox, 360, 360. Yeah, it's been a while. Sony-owned studio Insom Insomnia Games was hacked by a ransomware group, resulting in a leak of previously unknown details about Marvel's Wolverine, as well as the studios, studio and Sony Pictures, uh, Sony's future plans. Ransomware group Rysida released around 1.6 terabytes of data obtained from Insomnia via a hack of Monday night. 1.67 terabytes man that's huge that's a lot of game de data reporting by axios shows that the organization has a reputation for stealing personal information like social security numbers through cyber attacks on companies like prospect medical holdings rashida told rashida told cyber daily that insomniac was an easy target and that the money was the only motivation for the hack the group reportedly de demanded that about two million for the data last week at the time sony provided the following comment we are aware of reports that Insomniac Games has been the victim of a cybersecurity attack. We are currently investigating the situation. We have no reason to believe that any other Sony Interactive Entertainment or Sony Divisions will be, will be impacted. Sony and Insomniac have yet to comment on this matter. So far, developers like Wushu Studios and Sony Santa Monica's Corey Balrock have shared their sympathies with Insomniac over the hack. Game creators work tirelessly to create works of art and entertainment for everyone to see any team rewarded for the now let me give you my two cents on this okay because this is pretty wild as a game creator not a creator i was a gamer and who knows i might probably create one or maybe influence a game creation in the future let me actually tell you this okay artistic this thing is huge and it takes time okay to build this whole thing and imagine one dude comes and destroys everything a lot of people might not know that this data is a huge deal if it falls in the right hand I mean, yeah, who cares about this game, man? I mean, it's not out yet. I know, I know. But bruh, it's a huge deal. We're talking about millions and millions of dollars. Gamers, when I don't know how much GTA is going to make once it comes out, man. This is going to be my... Back then, I never paid attention to all the finance side. It was just enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. But now you can see, literally, everything is about money. Capitalism, grifting, money, grifting money. It's just what it is. I don't have issues when people are trying to make money out of something which is amazing. But it's just quick money. Come and just give them, you saw the last, what was that? The recent game grift? Literally everybody was talking about that. It had so many comments and reviews. Negative, but at least that shows that so many people fell for it. So you have to be very alert and vigilant. I keep saying this, it's because of the way the next, this generation is behaving, Gen Z is behaving, I don't know anything. Oh, I'm so stupid. Hence, it's easy for these dudes to take advantage of the situation, my friend. Like they see literally that most of us are just going blind and don't give a two shit about losing money or caring about it. And hence they're like, okay, you know what? Let's pull the plug again. Well, let's try it again. Let's, that's what it is. Now, do you think they should pay the $2 million? $2 million is nothing. Peasant, peasant money for them, Tony. But nope, I don't think that's a wise thing. I'm not sure if they paid because it's not wise. First of all, you're supporting a terrorist. You're supporting a criminal organization. Okay, literally, you're paying them $2 million. And th that also has no guarantee that you're going to get everything back. Because you're, these guys have put this whole thing on sale on black market, the dark web. Somebody probably bought it. Somebody leaked it to somebody else. I don't know what's happening. Somebody could have a copy of it. So once it happens, anything digital related, if this happens, ransom, I don't think that's a wise decision. Because you will probably lose your money and you will also lose everything else. So it's just a gamble, but I don't think it's worth it. I've got a couple of these ransomware BS. Hey man, I've uh, hacked your email. Yeah, probably they did. 
because I left that open, the port open. I can discuss all this some other day. These are a little technical. Port open. So I um, and also um, captured you masturbating on this the porn that you were watching. And I'm like, hold on, wait, I don't have any webcam, and I never watched any porn in this place. So I'm like, you know what? Fuck you. What else am I gonna do? Like, you know, this is just annoying. So yeah, there are people who do this kind of stuff, but I, I bet you that how many people fall for that? A lot. Oh my God, there's a camera. Yes, I watched. Okay, I'm gonna send you Bitcoin. That literally says, send me this, this, this Bitcoin. If not, we will be sending this to your the people, everybody. I've received that multiple times. And what else were there? Quite a other bunch of stuff. But yeah, it's a big deal, man. It's a big deal. This game, people, the hack is going through a lot of things. Can you imagine? People actually hacking games and trying to control our mind some way or the other. <sighs> kind of crazy to think about. Imagine GTA. How many people are going to install GTA into their system? I I'm just giving you one weird scenario, which never might happen, okay? GTA. Half of the whole world, 90, like let's say more than the world. But yeah, half of the world literally installed GTA. And GTA has something extremely fishy in, in it. I'm just saying. And? That could infect everything. Like everybody's now controlled in a way. So why I'm showing you this and telling you this because it's possible. Quite a bunch of stuff's possible, which was never possible. Like Elon Musk says, we live in the wildest and most amazing time as well at the same time. It's crazy, fascinating, but also it's very dangerous. So depends on how we perceive it. And always keep your family safe, protect your family, do the right thing, educate yourself, enjoy video games as much as possible. Enjoy, stress relief, escapism, but not escapism from real life. Time and death, ultimate truth. So if you keep wasting time, death is the ultimate answer, right? So make sure you utilize your time and do the right thing. And that reminds me, I should go get some game. Yeah, I mean, and to play some new games. All right, I'm out.